Hey YouTube, it's Jethro here. Uh, got hit with a request. What would I do with an extra hundred bucks? Uh, you know, in some places I'm so far behind the eight ball, it's pathetic. I've got things I need to do on my farm, uh, along with the prepping stuff that I do. I think if I had an extra hundred dollars just to spend and not worry about where it's going to go, a uh, couple things I'd like to spend it on. One would be canning jars. I've got several hundred, but you know the price keeps going up on them, so it's not going to hurt to have extra, or at least just the uh, lids and the the caps and the rings. Another thing that I also thought about it. I don't know if anybody's ever searched out trying to go to co-op or anything like that for salt. They've got rock salt. It's mine salt. Uh, they consider it to be a ag grade, but uh, I don't have no problem with it. Four dollars for a 50-pound sack. I can grind this stuff down and use it myself. Uh, it'll cure meat just the same as everything else will. So I might go ahead and stock up on a little extra salt and uh, some 55 gallon drums to store it in. I've thought about it several times and I'm worried about getting moisture to it and setting up hard. It's already rock salt. I'm going to have to chip it away and, and uh, grind it down anyway. So those are a couple things that I could actually do with an extra amount of money that I wouldn't normally every day just spend on. Uh, you know, I, I always think about, you know, outside of just everyday basic preps, uh, I think about how I'm going to preserve and, and save things and, and things like meat. Yeah, we can can it. Uh, there, there's a lot of things we can do, but but also, you know, we talk about canning bacon and everything else, but, you know, if a shift happens, where are you going to get the bacon from? By God, I'm going to kill a hog, and I'm making my own bacon. Uh, so it's going to take a little extra salt and spices to do it. So. I would probably bank on my spices, salt, my canning, uh, or gardening, uh, heirloom gardening seeds. Uh, there's just so many things I could use it on that normally I wouldn't just go out and drop a hundred on. So it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint anything, but I did have a request to respond to this from uh, Honda Roots and the 1952 Jeep. So guys, sir, I can't give you a definitive. I, I do a lot of things and, and it just depends on the day of the week as to what deal I'm going to tackle. Uh, last week we had so much rain the only thing I could tackle was the house and the garage so uh, hopefully if something hits me in the near future I'll set up another video and hopefully give somebody a good idea. So this is Jethro signing off. we catch y'all later.